I wanted to make a proof of concept around how we're using um, machine learning. In this case, I'm going to focus on sentiment um, analysis. And there's a ton of data sources on there, and um, so I gathered some data, uh, not a ton of it. Uh, in, in this case, I didn't want to take too long, but I, I gathered one or two files. And what I'm going to show is that if we build things in a very uh, generic, structured way with conventions, we can um, use the same data uh, from, you know, and use different services. So, for example, if I uh, make an API that says this is how your data has to come in, uh, then um, anyone can use our, uh, uh, you know, sentiment analysis. If I then say this is how we're going to give you your data back, then you as the consumer of this uh, SaaS will then get the data back and use it the way you want. In this case, I'm going to um, look at <coughs> AWS and Microsoft. They both have services that are really easy to use. Uh, so I'm going to show those working, but these can work with, non, with our own um, TensorFlow type daemon. Um, basically, I also want to show that if we build this right, then the same client that's working for Microsoft can take the same payload and have the same results as the client using that we're using for AWS. So you see like a drop-in replacement moment uh, of getting sentiment and giving it a payload. So I'm going to go to the command line and show this working, uh, and then from there I'm going to look at pricing. I'll go to the command line and I'll run the Microsoft one. And what that's going to do, it's going to take this payload just like we saw the other one's going to use, and it's going to uh, ask it about these items. Um, I even added one more in there, so I'm in the wrong folder, this one. So I ask it these three things. And the request gets made, and we get results. In most cases, zero is a uh, negative, and anything close to one is more positive. Uh, and then in this case, we get the IDs of the items we sent. We could do that with Amazon, too. So the next one is the Amazon one, same payload. Um, so we're really focusing on standardizing. Uh, same three items, and I get them back. And it's the same response. So I, I reformat the response to be closer to what um, the other service has. So we don't have to change things when we plug them in and out. And again, the score is um, not as good because... Um, I don't have, I had to build my own data here. Microsoft has a bunch of data. I could keep loading this with data and it's only going to get better, especially as I uh, uh, train it um, by uh, addressing like, hey, this should be a point nine, and eventually you can learn as I load more data. That's another thing to keep in mind too. Loading data is also standardized uh, as we uh, can easily fit into these APIs data uh, relative with the settings they need uh, per the columns and the, and the types of columns. So again, standardized data in, uh, and, and we're pretty much set. So as far as pricing goes, <coughs> Amazon has their machine learning pricing, and they show an example here <coughs> of $100 a month. Um, and batch predictions, real-time predictions, um, so you could do both. Uh, and the server could share resources uh, to do both. Um, but you see, it's not that much. Um, and you'd have to look at the overall, um, uh, you know, how robust this would be for your needs. Uh, as far as Microsoft goes, um, same idea. They have uh, pricing. I'm on a free level, 5,000 calls per 30 days. Uh, then you get into um, 150 a month, which is 100K. And again, you could um, provide them with data. You could build the database up. They give you a lot of data to begin with. Um, but it really was that easy. Uh, AWS has some great documentation as well uh, on building the machine learning services. Um, I don't seem to have that saved as a tab. But basically, uh, I went through the tutorials, and uh, I went through their, their tutorial, and then I replaced the data with my data, and, and that was it. Same with Microsoft. Lots of good articles. The next thing I would like to do is um, go for TensorFlow, just so we can see our own service. But um, I think to begin with, if we, we can do things in parallel, uh, using these services, building data, uh, and then at the same time building our own standalone services with a mindset towards um, uh, convention so that we're not building it for Newton or claims mapping, but we're building uh, an AI uh, API. And, and what really inspired me here is when you go to Microsoft's um, uh, website, 
on this? They broke up their cognitive learn, learning into, into APIs, and, and that's what really inspired this, this idea. So how could we do the same? <laughs>